We've already posted our Christmas video. Check it out if you haven't seen it already. I'm actually recording this a few days before Christmas, and I'm not sure exactly when I'm gonna be posting it. So maybe I should just say, Happy New Year. As of right now, it looks like we might get the very first snow of the season here in Oregon City on Christmas Day itself. How cool is that? Hold on, I'll tell you. Looks like it's between 26 and 35 degrees Fahrenheit. Snow in Oregon on Christmas is pretty rare. Unfortunately, I have to work that whole day. I'll be leaving before the sun comes up and getting back before the sun goes down. But if it does snow and it sticks around, I'll be sure to shoot some video for you. There's a couple of things I have to take care of out here on the homestead before we have to deal with below freezing temperatures. I'll be disconnecting the garden hoses and insulating the hose bibs. That does make getting water for our animals a little bit harder to do this time of year. Right now it's so easy just to fill up their water with the garden hose. We do have frost-free yard hydrants to work with, so I'm grateful for that, though. <laughs> Stay inside. Obviously, our animals can't drink frozen water. So when it does freeze up, we'll have to go around and just break up the surface ice in those buckets for the goats. I'm also moving the chicken's water from where it was out in the run to inside the coop itself. It stays a little warmer in there. And so far, it hasn't gotten cold enough for that big waterer to freeze up at least not to the point where a little boiling water from the stove can't thaw it out pretty quickly. Are you goats ready for cold weather? Are you looking forward to ice and snow? We've also stocked up on animal feed just in case it's icy and snowy and we don't want to take any extra trips to get this kind of stuff. My next project is one I've put off for a long time. I want to reinforce the top lip of our chicken coop roof. You can kind of see how it's sagging a little bit. I want to reinforce it so that it doesn't get any worse with the weight of snow and ice. And until recently, I just haven't had a good way to get up there to work on it. The original chicken run roof was plastic and wouldn't support my weight. But now that I've got this metal one, I think it's safe to get up there to do what I need to do. I've already measured the spaces and cut the pieces of 2x4. So it should be a pretty simple process of just toenailing them in with screws. The roof up here is a little bouncy, a little, uh, makes me a little bit nervous. Sorry in advance if 
the movement of me up here just makes the camera bounce around a little bit. only got cold rain on Christmas Day. So although that white Christmas turned out to be a Felice Navi dud, we did get snow the next day. Oh, 
Almost, almost made it, Stormtrooper. You can do it. Come on. You can do it. Christmas video that I put together this year is pretty special, but it's also kind of long. So I didn't really have room in it for a good Christmas joke. This video is shorter, so you get the joke here. First, you have to promise if you like the joke that you'll click the thumbs up button. Okay? Why is it ironic that all of Santa's other reindeer are jealous of Santa and Rudolph's special relationship. All those other reindeer are the brown nosers. I want to give a big shout out and an even bigger thank you to one of our younger viewers. Ari just turned 12 and she painted one of our goats for us. Her mom gave me the painting for her for Christmas. Wendy and I can't agree on which goat this might be. I think it's little Sienna with the white around the nose and on the top of the head. And Wendy thinks it might be one of the bottle baby goats. Since we have so many, it's easy to forget which one's which for people who aren't, you know, around the goats all the time. I'll find a good spot for it, Ari. Thank you. <laughs>